to Digital Crack, your host Mario. We are looking at um, Rodman Gaming HD. He has an example of Demon Souls gameplay at 60 frames a second. Thought we'd look at it from the offset. Uh, Demon Souls is an impressive game, guys. Um, especially running at 60 frames a second. I personally have never played it, and um, it's my first time actually seeing it played, period. I just never, w uh, I guess, was attracted to the whole Demon Souls games or whatever until recently when I saw how it looked um, with uh, PlayStation 5, and uh, this is impressive. Load time seems to be amazingly fast. Um, normally that would have taken... Uh, a couple of seconds, 30 seconds, or whatever. Um, but yeah, these these are some of the hardest games ever to play. And you can see why. And you know, the level of detail on every sp spider area, or spider leg, or spider stomach, whatever. I think this is a spider. Or something like a spider. But it is impressive. I mean, to memorize every blocking mechanism or blocking sequence, this, I guess, is the key for this game. You gotta memorize the sequences of what he uses, like this. I wouldn't have never known to back up. <laughs> Huge demon to, to destroy. Demon vanquished. I like that time. I mean, I like that theme rather. The demon was vanquished. I'm all for slaying demons. <laughs> and this is another example, I'm assuming, of another floor. I mean, the movement is really butterly, buttery smooth. You have to be impressed with that. And the color the, uh, saturation is really nice, especially in the reds and the oranges. The lighting and the shadowing is just impeccably gorgeous. Even the, the, the dust coming off the walls, the movement of the chains. I mean, all just impressive. And they say that when you're playing this game with the PlayStation 5's controller, that you'll actually be able to tell the difference between you hitting a body and or hitting stone or hitting something metal. And that's incredible. And it seems like all the developers, even third-party developers, are formulating their game to take advantage of haptic feedbacks for the PlayStation 5, which I pointed out in my article is part of the advantage that PlayStation has in third-party games over the Xbox. I mean, just to have a developer like NBA 2K formulate their game from the ground up specifically for your platform, even though they're a third party, it has to speak volumes and boatloads about their opinion about your console and what they plan on doing to help your console sell as many of their games as possible as opposed to Xbox. I mean, we're already being, Xbox fans are already being treated as second class citizens already from last gen and it looks like it's going to continue this gen. You know, the latest talks is about the RDNA 2, um, but my concern, again, as I've pointed out multiple times, tools and stats are only useful if the developer uses them. And all, in, all indications that we've seen 
that shows that every developer, developer of third-party games are either seeking parity or giving PlayStation advantages with either the DualShock, um, not the DualShock, but either with the um, Pulse uh, 3D engine or the haptic feedback in the controller. All of them are utilizing those features and they're adding those features specifically for the PlayStation. But they're not doing the same for the Xbox. They're not doing anything special for the Xbox. They're just throwing their game on the Xbox. And it's my personal belief that if they chose to, they I believe that the Xbox Series X would show better, run better, you know, in frame rates and in graphics if the developers utilized its full potential. But what you have and what Xbox and Xbox fanboys refuse to accept is that these third party developers are not, you know, seeking to destroy themselves. They're not going to attach their boat to Microsoft. And Microsoft only can sell, manage to sell 40, 40 or 50 million consoles a year. I mean, a generation rather. As opposed to PlayStation 110 plus million you know, people. That's 50 million people that they would be leaving on the table for possible sales if they developed and, you know, developed for Xbox Series X and really gave it its advantage. You're basically alienating all the PlayStation fans and making them mad and which will make in turn them, you know, send death threats like they've always done and boycott your game because they feel like you're trying to be unfair to them. And developers don't want that. So what they're doing, they're seeking either parity, like I said, or trying to give advantages uh, for PlayStation 5 owners um, with the dual, I mean, with the haptic feedbacks or the engine itself, or with um, um, which con or with content, you know, like Call of Duty is doing, or like uh, Grand Theft Auto is doing, and that's where. That's where you're going to have the problem for Microsoft. Microsoft will always have this this huge um, disadvantage against PlayStation because of their numbers. PlayStation sells more um, games than Xbox does for third-party games. They sell more games for um, first-party games for Xbox over over Xbox. And they continue continuously have the mind share of the developers. So their developers are constantly looking to make sure that they're the ones that are satisfied, you know, and like with PlayStation's event when they first had their event and had like seventy five developers um on their video you know, all supporting the PlayStation 5, and majority of those developers were third-party developers, big-name third-party developers, and that's the thing I think people keep forgetting, I mean, I know what, Xbox has all of these features, RDNA, machine learning, um, mess, you know, mess shading, and all this other stuff that they have that's going to help them with their graphics and help them with their frame rate, but those are tools that have to be utilized by the developer. And what you're forgetting is the developers don't want to create an environment in which PlayStation fans are not happy. So they're not going to use those tools. And if they do, they're only using those tools to a point of parity across both, across both platforms. They're never going to, as a whole, they're never going to develop it so that it shows a true difference between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 if one exists and I say if because both of these platforms are so close to each other yes Xbox has more power on paper but in the end every single third party game that has been announced so far has been a parody across the board 
you have seen you have not seen one deficiency from the PlayStation in frame rate nor have you seen any deficiency from the PlayStation in resolution against the Xbox Series X they're both equal as far as in those two categories now if there's any difference it's the difference that they've given the PlayStation to make PlayStation fans happy with the haptic feedbacks and or the 3D sound engine or content that you can't get anywhere else if there's any difference in all of these third-party games it's the advantages that they still have for the PlayStation it's not anything that they have shown and is as an advantage for Xbox and that's just the truth people we have to come to terms that that we have to understand that people are prejudiced against things that create money for them companies are and that's the bottom line you can have all the tools in the world and if none of these developers use those tools to give you an advantage then it doesn't mean anything Xbox One X had more power than the PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 4 but what was the results Last of Us Detroit Become Human Ghost of Shima Spider-Man those are the results on paper Xbox One X was a superior console in reality what was actually shown and what was actually allowed you had games even third party games that ran better frame rates on the PlayStation 4 Pro than the Xbox X because why the developer the, the developer went about their way to make sure that the PlayStation 4 Pro game was more optimized than the Xbox One X even though the Xbox One X had all this power over the PlayStation Pro the developer the third party developer wanted to give the advantage to PlayStation and they did and this is not going to change people this is never going to change as long as Microsoft fails to sell the amount of consoles that PlayStation sells developers will never isolate them and give them the advantage over PlayStation and that's just the truth so until next time guys Mario Digital Crack